Hey there, I'm Lainey Lipsky, parenting coach and master teacher, and I'm here to answer parenting questions. One of the big ones that I get is around how to discipline children without using physical force, without spanking or hitting or whatever you want to call it in your, in your family. I know that if you're watching this video, this is a behavior that you don't want to be doing, or perhaps you're questioning whether or not this is a uh, reasonable way to raise your child. And what I'm here to tell you is that the research on hitting and spanking is very, very clear. The research tells us that kids who are spanked, um, whether it's in a calm moment or in a, a, a not calm moment by the parent, grow up to suffer consequences from that. They grow up to be less secure, less independent, less successful in work, life, and relationships, and school for that matter. And I know that if you're watching a parenting video, it means that you want your child to be successful, you want them to be happy, you want them to be independent, and you want them to be you know, good at school and successful at work, and you want them to have a good life and become a good human being. So spanking and corporal punishment is really not part of that equation when it comes to somebody's happiness and their inner well-being. Are there people in the world who were spanked and who um, were hit as a child and overcame that and went on to do great things in the world and be a well-regarded um, citizen? Absolutely. But I would say that those people were able to achieve what they achieved in spite of the kind of discipline that was used on them, not because of the type of discipline that was used on them. Again, the research is really clear on this, that the way to discipline kids is really rooted in empathy. And if you are interested in hearing more about that, you should definitely like this video and subscribe to my channel because um, there are other videos about this same topic and related ideas. The other thing I just wanna note is that um, before I get into how to not spank and how to not hit if you're aiming to not do that, is that in the notes below, you're gonna see uh, two links. One is to my Facebook group and one is to my free class. In my Facebook group, I offer free coaching and in my free class, I offer a deeper dive into how to parent your child, especially if they are strong-willed or um, sensitive or a child who isn't easy um, without all the yelling and the bribing and the shaming and the spanking and all the old school stuff that was you know done to most of us when we were kids so if you're interested in learning more about that please go below and click those links and I'd love to help you more back to this topic about figuring out the whole discipline without um, hitting and spanking it's really, really important to know a couple of things. Number one, you need to know that if you are raising a child to believe that hitting in any way, call it hitting, call it spanking, I don't care, it's the same thing. Putting your hands on somebody else to, to cause pain is part of a loving relationship, then that child is gonna grow up believing as a core belief that pain is a part of the relationship that they ought to be seeking when they're older. And that can take many forms. At its worst, it's somebody who becomes, um, uh, enters and stays in an abusive relationship, or it becomes somebody who becomes an abuser themselves. And I know nobody wants their daughter or their son to be in an abusive relationship. Nobody wants that. So it's really important to understand that the, the gravity of this topic, and I know you're here because you wanna, you wanna not do it. You know that this is like not a good thing and you wanna change it. So what do you do instead? So the main thing is getting a handle on what is going on for you internally that is getting you to a place where you're so frustrated that you're not able to stay calm and you're more in a reactive place than in a responsive place. And I'm gonna tell you this, this is just another truth bomb, that when you have your emotional back against the wall, right? When And your kids will put you there all the time, right? Because kids know how to push our buttons 
just by being, they're not like trying to push our buttons, just their mere existence pushes our buttons like nothing else and nobody else in the world. So that's what I mean when your emotional back is against the wall, when you're in that like, oh my gosh, my buttons are being pushed mode, you are gonna do and say things that are coming from a very reactive, very knee-jerk kind of a place, okay? And if you're not happy with what is coming out of your mouth and what your, what your hands are doing when you're in that reactive place, you're gonna have to learn how to become more responsive instead of continuing to go along with just being that sort of blind, reactive person. And the way to do that is to get a handle on what your self-talk is. What's going through your mind? What are you telling yourself when all of this you know, stuff is hitting the fan? What is actually happening inside of you physically? What are you telling yourself? Where's your stress response? And how do you calm that down? How do you calm it down enough so that you can be the parent you want to be and be the parent that your child deserves and that you want them to have the be the parent that you long to be right and if you know if you think that just taking a couple of deep breaths is going to solve this problem it won't it just won't that's just the truth do you need to learn how to breathe properly absolutely you need to learn how to take good healing cleansing deep breaths for sure and you need to rewire what's going on in your brain Look at what the messages are. Are you telling yourself, oh, my kid sucks, or I'm a terrible parent, or I wasn't cut out for this parent. I never want to be a parent in the first place. Ah, I can't take it anymore. All those kind of messages going through your brain. If they are, we've got to pause the tape on that and start rewriting some of those messages. And again, if you're interested in learning how to do that, please go to my my class in the in the notes below. There's a link there. Join my Facebook group. I've got lots of great information for you. It kind of exceeds the, the boundaries of this video right here. But these are the steps that you're gonna need to take in order to get to the place where you are calmer and you're not just knee-jerk reacting all the time. Lashing out with your hands is the same as lashing out with your mouth. If you're yelling or you're spanking or you're hitting, it's going to affect your kids in a way that's gonna ultimately break the relationship that you want to have with your kid that I assume you want to have with your child as they grow older. It's not going to create healthy bonds and it's going to affect them in ways that you're not going to be pleased with the kind of adult they, they ultimately become. And again, the research is absolutely clear on that. So if you want your child to be respectful, you want your child to be independent, happy, successful, you're going to want to take a look at this, at this cycle that's in place right now. And let me tell you something, that parenting is an inside job and it absolutely is gonna begin with you. Yes, your child made you into a parent, so I guess we could argue, you know, chicken egg, kind of who made who into a parent, but the truth is that you are the parent and this is the work and parenting is a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call to look at all of this, to look at our reactivity, to look at our ability to be better, to at our ability to care for ourselves and to actually care for somebody else, maybe to heal old wounds from the past. If you've got them, there's no shame there. But don't you wanna be the person who is creating a new future rather than just living out your past day in and day out? Having a child is the ultimate opportunity to do that. You don't have to have your past define your future. That doesn't have to be the case. There's nothing that says that you have to raise your kids the way that you were raised if you're looking to make a change. You can build a new family legacy starting today by looking at yourself, by doing the work, by showing up, and by practicing. So I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to working with you and hearing from you and hearing your thoughts on the future. Make sure you go and like the video below if it resonated with you. Subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you on Facebook and on my free class. See you next time.